Today we're going to be taking out the uh, headliner of this 2009 Volkswagen Jetta. It should be similar to all the Mark V Jettas out there. I believe they range from about 2009 up to 2015 or so. On the passenger side we've got some water in the rear foot well and I believe it's going to be coming off this back side over here and running down the outside of the tube and then running down underneath kind of close to the seat area into the floorboard. Kind of hear the water underneath the carpet there. So the other side is pretty much dry, just this side over here is the one that's wet so pretty sure the tube coming off this back of it, this rain channel over here uh, the tube's probably going to be loose, and uh, after a while, it the uh, rubber and plastic just shrink and it comes apart. So when I get up in there, I'll show you. But uh, we're going to be having to remove all these plastics all the way around, and uh, all the center stuff, the lights, and all that. And it's going to drop it down, and we'll take it out. I'll show you the process. All right, so I'm going to go up in here. A small picker screwdriver eyes down on it, up in there, drop down, rotate it down and out, we're going to start from the center, this one slide your trim removal tool, the screwdriver side to side, it should pop down, pull back towards you, and it should come out as well, and you take your trim removal tool up here, slide it across, And let it pop off. It's got all these little pins right there. Alright, this piece is going to have two screws. One right there and one right there. Once you get those two out, those two out, there'll be some snaps on top of it there. You get those uh, snaps there and there to pop out. And this whole thing will rotate down. You'll have two connectors. One right there and one right there. This is that one. And that one right there is in here. This black one basically just has a little snap on it. You'll just have to yank on it some, and don't yank on the cords, but put ideas. I got a piece, uh, pair of pliers here, and put on it, and just yanked it back and out of the housing. This one up here will have a little push tab on the top right there, and you push it down, and it'll go straight up out. This one here, what I do. It's got these little push tabs on the side of it here. Now push those two in and just pull back. Want we'll to make sure you get this third one so people don't and it breaks it there. Because it looks like it wouldn't be involved with it, but it is. Then you've got these two more screws right there and right here. And we'll take those out. There's one. There's two. And this whole thing, well, I forgot to put these two up in here. Alright. And once you get those out, the whole thing should pry down out of the hole. With the edges, it should rotate down and come out. And that's what you end up with. Alright, and I usually try to put the screws back if they're not in the way, just put them back in the original holes. If they will, just, if they won't, go back into the holes, then uh, if they're going to be in your way, just put them into a little catch jar somewhere and you can go ahead. But at least if you put them back where they should be, then you're not going to forget exactly where each one of them went. And to get this light loose, we'll take a pick or a small flathead screwdriver, and we'll stick it in from the outside back. There's a little metal tab up in there you're going to push on. It'll come out. Right there. And we're going to just wiggle this down out. And it's going to have the same style push together and pop down. There you go. Just push those two little tabs together on both sides. A little pinch and push back. You just want to slip them back up in there so they're out of the way and they don't get caught or anything. And now start with these. You got these little flip down tabs here. And that. All right. This should be out. 
take it off the other side, and rotate it down, and towards the glass. Alright, to take the uh, inside piece of the sun visor off, I'll have to unsnap this little piece to see that screw up in there. And about the only way you can do that is with a small uh, razor blade or something. You're going to stick it up in between these two and then just prise it back in towards the windshield there. And then just take that screw out and this whole thing should drop off. Um, but this side over here is going to have a sensor for the slider here. It turns the uh, light on up here. So you're probably going to have to wait to get the uh, actual headliner to drop down a little bit so you can get up in here and take that loose. So we'll probably have to wait to take this one out for almost the very last. And then, uh, so we'll wait for those. I'll check the other side, should that be the same? So we'll probably just leave these holding up the sun visor until the very last. Um, we'll pull down the edges and then it should have a clip back up in this area here that you can unclip and take the sun visors out then. Alright, to so remove these A-pillar covers, there's a little tab it says airbag right up here. You're going to put something underneath it. Prize it out. Prize it out. And it's got a little holder on it. Put it to the best position where it's out of the way. Come back in there. I can see it. There's, there you go. There's that bolt you're going to have to remove. And if you do, that whole thing will pop out and pull back on it. All right, so remove the screw, just slides it away, fingers down there, just wiggle it back and forth a little bit, pull it towards the back, and flip on it just a bit. And so you will have to remove this side cover, and there's a plastic trim piece right here, and it goes through the front of that. And all this is just snap on, so you just pop it away, pop that one back, and then get into that one, and then the whole thing should come up and out. And there's your tabs, that's your screw, and these are the two snaps on this end. And then one down there at the bottom, near the windshield down there. And set those up in front of the windshield there, and I'll do the same for the other side. Alright, so we pull in this handle, I'll take that off, and there's these little snaps, you have to put the thing up in there, push it down. Same on the back side here. Push them down. We'll actually hold the handle in the down position somewhat for you. I'm going to do that four times around the car and the handles will be off. Alright, so there's this little airbag sign here. Just prise it off with a flat head or a pick. And back in there there's a screw. I think it's E25. And then uh, just try not to drop it down in there. Um, take that out and then this whole piece should unsnap and come in. And uh, hopefully it'll slide down enough just to get the sun of the roof out. All right, so once you remove this bolt, um, slide it, slide this piece all the way to the up position. And then you're just going to take start prising this off around the B pillar. And then there's a pin back in here. Just be careful with that. Slide your hand back there, popping it off. And once you come off, it should come out of the roof there. You can just let it slide back down. And the pin just sticks right in that plastic spot there. Alright, so once you come to the back, you want to go ahead and do the same thing. Take the headrest off all the way across the back, and you're going to start with taking this light down. Basically, you just run your fingers all the way around. It should pop down and out. Take off the cover. And on each side of it here, there's these two little snaps. You should hold it up in. You should just pull back and pull down. Both sides. have the same style connector on this side. I'm just going to squeeze it together and it should pop off. One hand's not easy. There we go. Alright, so there you are. And I just sit everything all the way in the back. It won't be in the way. I'll start with that and this cross trim on the back window. Alright, so this trim piece is going to be held up by a few snaps on the back side of it. So once it pops down, have all these snaps. One of them, there'll be a few probably that'll just snap out. Um, it won't come down with the trim. And you'll just have to put them back in before you lose them. You just want to pinch it. 
push it and then slide it back into a slot. All right, so it's going to be exactly the same as the other ones. It's going to have this uh, little airbag on the C column. Um, and up in there, there'll be a screw. And once you undo that, you're going to have to pull it pretty hard. And it's going to snap out of these two here and back there. See the little snaps right there, right there. And then once you do, it'll raise it up and away, and it'll come out. And I think that's where my night leak's going to be, because you see right down in there, I already got water in there. So, I think that's going to be my problem. Well, at least we know that's it. So, in case you do have that problem. So, it's just been running down and around here. And leaking back behind the chair here. And it runs down the side. Usually if you pull this back while it's raining and look down inside there. It'll actually be a little wet spot coming down the back of it there. Yep, that's the uh, culprit right there. So, we're going to take care of that in a little bit. All right, so we got the back trim removed all the way across, and there'll be two screws, one there and one there. We'll have to take those out, and then there'll be one right back over, and there'll be one on the other side too once we get that cover off. Once you do that, this back should be loose and be able to drop down then. All right, so what I've been doing, so I won't drop these screws back in here and lose them way down in there somewhere. I've been, uh, this will be attached to my drill, but what I've been doing is I've been taking my little magnet tool and sitting up in there beside it, and once it's all the way out, I just take it out with this. That way I don't lose the screw back down in there. I'm not sure. There's actually going to be four. There's going to be those two up here, and then there's actually going to be one right up in that hole there. You should be able to see that one. Yeah, right there. There's actually going to be four all the way across the top. One, two, three, and then four over there, and then the two of them on the bottom over here, and then. Alright, so once you get done with the sunroof, you're going to take and prize this little plastic piece, just be careful not to break it, it's really thin. Uh, but you prize it off these two tabs right here, you're going to prize it back and away, and it should pop it off those. Same thing over here, and then on the fronts, and then this whole thing should come back down. Alright. Alright, so for this part, this is the sunroof connection. You want to pull down the headliner, and this part, you're really going to need a pick or a bent tool and that thing should prize the outside right there. Good shot of that. that little prong right there. See so pull to the outside and then it should slide back. There, just like that. And then you can get that out of the way. And you're gonna have to pop that up in here. I need to pop this and get it up in there. I need to pop that down through so you can take the thing out. There you go. Just slid out. And now this part I'm going to take down and pull that out. Alright. She won't give you a lot to work with there. But that is off. Alright, so the headliner's out of the car now, or at least down off the roof of the car. Now you can see these clips really nice. Um, all the way around. Had to pry it down. This one here is actually still up on the roof there. Right there. Um, yeah, so once you get the little plastic pieces pried off of these right here, um, there's actually some out on this one too. So there's actually four places that you have to pry the little flathead screwdriver that have to pop down here in the center. Just don't let it fall without taking these loose because there's just these flimsy little wires that's going to be cut if you do. Alright, one more time. Alright, so here's the problem. There's the tube. They've got rubber into rubber, so that's just the problem. I just had it glued in there, so the glues gave way, and you can see the crack right there on the back side. Or it's just been running out of there when it pawns up against the tube in there. And after letting it sit for so long, it'll just start coming out. So uh, I'm going to glue this back in there, and then I'm going to put a layer of silicone so it shouldn't crack again. Even if the glue comes out, it won't uh, come out by, by the silicone. And then I'm going to probably rub just a, a little small layer of silicone in there, and then stick it back on to kind of make sure it holds it in place. If you have to take your headliner out to put new fabric or something on, um, it's going to have to come out this way. You're going to have to take out all the seats in the interior to even get a chance to get it out and even then you're going to have to squeeze it and bring it out like a taco shell um, 
because it's just stuffed in there. They must have put it in through the windshield or had this door off and slid it back in there. So uh, it'll have to come out this way. You're going to have to take all the seats out. I've already wasted like an hour or two hours trying to get it out of here. And I finally just gave up and just shoved it all the way to the front. And I'm going to fix these two back ones on back here. And I'll probably put it at the back and fix the two front ones. And then uh, put everything back up. But yeah, just don't plan on taking this out unless you absolutely have to because it's a big pain. Alright, I used 100% silicone. Um, you can use cock or gas maker. And I just put it around the back side where the two tubes meet right there. Put electric uh, duct tape over it. Wrapped it all the way around it and then squeezed it up towards the front a little bit. Just to help squeeze it into the cracks. And uh, I'm going to do it all the way around on all four corners, and then we should be good. Alright, so this is the sun visor holder. Um, it'll bend these two little tabs, metal tabs on each side in, so it'll drop out of the square hole that sits up in there. And there's those four little metal tabs. You'll have to bend this plastic around them, or push them forward until it drops off. It'll come off there. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to bend these tabs back out, and I'll probably go ahead and reinstall it. Install it back down on here and put the wire in its harness right there. And once this is, these two pins are bent back out, we should be able to bolt the sun visor on hypothetically, bolt it on down there, and then put it back and snap those back up into those slots. And one, it will hold it there. And then, once you get everything done, you should be able to take the sun visors loose, it'll already be wired up. And then you'll just have to snap it back around those little metal prongs there so it can hold it up there a little bit better. I tried taking those actual metal clips out of the roof and they're almost impossible to get out unless you had like some sort of special tool or something to get them out with. So I'm going to leave those. I'm going to try it this way and see if it works.